is this going to take our job? Which, you know, my perspective is, yeah, it probably will eventually take your job. Um, look, I, uh, I believe in a world of autonomous systems. Um, I think they're going to have a profound impact on humanity. Um, I like, as it relates to the defense world, I just fundamentally believe that, um, autonomous systems are like swarms of autonomous systems are going to be the most strategic conventional deterrent, uh, of the 21st century. Um, and I think it's important for the U S to lead, uh, here. Um, so, uh, mission is to protect service members and civilians with artificially intelligent systems. In pursuit of this mission, we have been building and proliferating the world's best AI pilot. Easiest way to think about an AI pilot is self-driving technology for unmanned systems. It enables unmanned systems to operate without GPS, without communications, or while GPS or communications are jammed. Um, it enables them to operate without a remote pilot, and then it enables them uh, enables the concept of swarming or teaming, uh, where they are able to share information with each other, read and react, and work together as a team. Um, and so we started with a problem that I was super familiar with, clearing buildings uh, of threats. Um, and so our first product, we put an AI pilot on a quadcopter, uh, and it would go inside buildings and structures completely autonomously uh, looking for threats. They called it the John Henry test because man versus machine. Um, and they sent the quadcopter into a house clearing problem um, down at La Posta. Uh, and uh, they gave a SEAL squad the exact same problem. Um, quadcopter, right? In, like solve the solve the problem faster. And at the end of this problem, this house clearing problem, there's a house born IED, which was like a, a way for the SEAL teams to say like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like that's, you know, you cleared the, the building, but you still get blown up. Um, and so seeing the reaction from the guys after that, they're like, okay, like I can see why this is like a valuable capability. Um, even with all its flaws, and it had a lot of flaws back in 2017, 2018 timeframe, but they took it overseas, found utility out of it. Um, and so, you know, I was very proud of that product. Um, but yeah, again, what I'm like, I'm very proud of that product because 100% used on some of the most important missions uh, that this country does and 100%, you know, brought guys back home safely to their families.